On Saturday late evening, as we all got ready to sleep or enjoy that weekend movie or spend time with our loved ones, hectic work was on at the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha. As the countdown finished, history was created with India firing its first hypersonic missile which has the speed of ballistic missiles but the maneuvering capabilities of cruise missiles. This brought India to an elite grouping of only select nations to have such a capability. And when I say select, I mean India, Russia, US and China. Just four. The DRDO in a statement had said that the missile can carry, and I quote, various payloads for ranges greater than 1500 kilometers for all the services of the armed force, meaning that there would be multiple variations of this particular missile which will service the Army, the Navy and the Air Force. Now what is an hypersonic missile? It is typically used to describe missiles that travel within the Earth's atmosphere for sustained periods at speeds greater than five times the speed of sound while being able to make significant maneuvers that change the missile's direction. Sustained hypersonic flight is technically challenging. At these speeds, the object experiences extreme conditions such as significant air resistance causing friction that results in very high temperature. Hypersonic missiles are capable of flying and maneuvering under these conditions for sustained periods. Though many ballistic missiles exceed the speed of Mach 5, they are not usually classed as hypersonic intercontinental ballistic missiles. This is because while ICBMs can exceed Mach 20, most of their flight is outside the Earth's atmosphere and they do not experience hypersonic flight conditions for a prolonged period. There are main two types of hypersonic missiles. One is the hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and the hypersonic cruise missiles, HCMs. HGVs are mounted onto rocket boosters for launch and may be accelerated to speeds of Mach 20 or more. The glider then separates from the booster and flies unpowered in the Earth's upper atmosphere at altitudes of 30 to 80 kilometers before diving towards the target. HCMs typically have a ramjet or a scramjet engine that enables them to reach hypersonic speeds at altitudes of 20 to 40 kilometers. China and Russia have deployed hypersonic missiles that could deliver conventional or nuclear warheads. The US is testing multiple hypersonic technologies. Now someone would probably think what is the need for hypersonics when we have the ballistic missiles. Remember that ballistic missiles are launched to high altitudes and fall to earth under a gravity picking up enormous speed but in an arc shaped ballistic trajectory. As a result, their flight path and target can be predicted by missile defense systems, making it possible to target and destroy them with interceptor missiles. On the other hand, hypersonic missiles are designed to evade existing ballistic missile defenses. They fly at lower altitudes than ballistic missiles and their significant maneuverability enables them to change trajectory during flight, making their flight path and target difficult to predict. Flying at lower altitudes can make hypersonic missiles harder to track at long distances with some surface-based sensors such as the radars. They fly closer to the Earth's surface and because of the Earth's curvature can stay hidden beyond the horizon and out of the sight of certain radar for longer duration. Now let's look at what other countries are doing. In 2020, China reportedly deployed the DF-17, a missile with a conventionally armed HGV. In 2021, there were reports that the Chinese military had conducted two tests of a fractional orbital bombardment system that orbited the Earth before releasing a nuclear capable HGV that descended onto a target. China's foreign ministry denied this, saying that it was testing a reusable space vehicle. There have also been reports that China is researching and developing HCMs. Russia has used multiple Kinzhal missiles against Ukraine which is often referred to as a hypersonic missile. Kinzhal has a reported range of up to 2000 kilometers and a top speed of Mach 10. It is believed to be a modified air-launched version of the ground-launched 
short range Iskander M missile. Kinzhal is actually an aero ballistic missile. It flies on a quasi ballistic trajectory and is capable of limited maneuvers. Though aero ballistic missiles can reach hypersonic speeds, like many ballistic missiles, they are not widely considered to be hypersonic missiles. But Russia has the avant garde, a nuclear capable FGV. Reportedly, it is launched from an ICBM booster, can reach speeds of Mach 20 over intercontinental distances, and is now deployed. It has also developed Zircon, among other programs. Zircon is a missile that can be launched from naval assets, which can reportedly reach speeds of Mach 9, fly over 1000 kilometers, and strike both ground and naval targets. It was deployed in 2023. Moscow is also developing an air-launched hypersonic missile and has announced plans to place a hypersonic glide vehicle on its Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile. In March this year, the US Air Force tested a hypersonic cruise missile in the Pacific for the first time. It is officially called the All Up Round AGM-183A air-launched rapid response weaponry. Now, the previous ARRW tests have been conducted off the US mainland. The ARRW consists of a rocket booster motor and hypersonic glide vehicle which carries a conventional warhead. It is intended to attack high-value, time-sensitive land-based targets, a 2021 Defense Department document had said. US officials have said that unlike China and Russia, Washington has no plans to arm any of its hypersonic weapons with a nuclear warhead. But what about China? The US Defense Intelligence Agency's chief scientist for science and technology had told US lawmakers in March this year that while both China and Russia have conducted numerous successful tests of hypersonic missiles and have likely fielded operational systems, China is leading Russia in both supporting infrastructure and number of systems. And I quote, over the past two decades, China has dramatically advanced its development of conventional and nuclear-armed hypersonic missile technologies and capabilities through intense and focused investment, development, testing, and deployment. This was said by DIA's Paul Frischler, testifying in front of the House Armed Forces Committee. China's hypersonic arsenal includes the DF-17, a medium-range ballistic missile with a hypersonic glide vehicle that has a range of 1600 kilometers. It also has a DF-41 intercontinental ballistic missile, which also carries a hypersonic glide vehicle. Beijing also has the DF-ZF hypersonic glide vehicle with a range of close to 2000 kilometers and the Starry Sky 2, a nuclear capable hypersonic prototype. For the print, this is Snehi Shalex Philip. Do subscribe to the Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.